Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be discussing firewall management, specifically firmware upgrades in firewall management inside of Central Admin. So what we're going to do before we jump into the dashboard is take a quick look at some of the requirements around the scheduled firmware upgrades and the immediate firmware upgrade options. As you can see here for scheduled firmware upgrades, we require you to be on XG version 1803, uh, which is MR3. Once you're on MR3, anything above that, you can actually schedule the upgrade. So moving from MR3 to MR4, we can actually go in and schedule that upgrade at a specific date and time. Anything else is going to be an immediate upgrade, meaning as soon as you select that firewall for upgrade inside of the central management dashboard for firewall upgrades, it is going to push that out on the spot. So don't do this during the day when the firewalls are live, unless there is a known downtime for that specific customer. So let's go ahead and jump right into the central admin dashboard for a particular customer and take a look at how the firewall upgrades work. Okay, so I'm in my central admin dashboard for one particular customer. And what I'm going to do is we're actually going to come down and go to firewall management. So inside of the firewall management, we're going to go under firewalls. And as you can see, I've got quite a few firewalls in here uh, that have been uh, either ungrouped and also grouped, whether that's in a partner group or a local group. And you can see that I have a couple of firewalls that are actually listed with this green down arrow button. This is going to be the indication that you have a firmware upgrade available for this particular firewall. Now, if I was to click on any of these particular firewalls, as we can see here, this one is on 17.5. This one here is on 18, but not MR3. It is just a GA release. I can also see down here in my partner managed group that I have another firewall that is currently running MR3. So before we get into that one, let's take a look at the first group here. We're going to go ahead and click on one of these firewalls inside of the group. What this is going to do is give me the option to schedule upgrades. Now, the schedule upgrade is going to present us with a couple of different options. You'll notice that once this gets opened, it's going to provide information for all of the firewalls that are part of that group. You can notice here we only see the two firewalls. We do not see my Azure XG firewall listed. It is not part of the ungrouped group inside of firewall management. You can only upgrade all of the firewalls inside of that particular group. Now, while we're in here, it is only going to highlight and checkbox the firewall that we currently selected. I can come in and select another firewall as well. Now, I can at this point decide where these firewalls are going to be going. What is the upgrade path that I want to go to for these firewalls? If there are any different versions that I can step to before going directly over to maybe say 18 uh, MR4. As you can see here, that is the only upgrade path for this particular firewall. If we come down to my 17.5 firewall, however, and I hit the drop down, you can see if I'm not ready to make that move up to version 18 as of just yet, I can still move from my 17.5.11 to 17.5.15. I do not have to go into version 18. Also noting on here that coming from 17.5, the only upgrade option and the path is going to be into 18.3. So I cannot go directly into MR4. You do have the release notes available here as well. So you can click on the release notes. It is going to give you all the information about that particular release and upgrade. So you know exactly what is going to be applied. Now, with both of these firewalls, neither one of these firewalls is running MR3. So version 18 MR3. So as you'll notice down here at the bottom, we do not have the ability to schedule these firewalls for upgrade. It is going to be immediate only, meaning that as soon as I go ahead and select schedule upgrades, it is going to push those upgrades out to those firewalls. It's going to start the download process. As soon as it's downloaded and verified, it is going to go ahead and reboot those firewalls and install that firmware. So again, I would not recommend doing this during hours. Make sure you handle this after hours. All right, so let's take a look at the other side. We have a firewall that's already on version 18 MR3, and it's able to be scheduled. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on my Azure XG firewall. We're going to go ahead and select schedule upgrades. And you can see here, this is now going to show me the 
version that it's currently on, what I'm going to be able to upgrade to, the release notes. It's also going to show some additional information on here with the time zone. So I know what the current time zone of that firewall is. The scheduled updates will always be done at the time of that particular firewall. So if you set that at midnight for a particular day, it's going to be midnight for the time zone of that firewall. So in here, we can see that I do have the ability now to schedule the firmware upgrade. I can go ahead and hit the little calendar. I can select the date that I want to schedule as well as the time. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to schedule the Saturday, the 16th. And maybe I want to have this done at midnight. So we're going to go ahead and select 00 and 00 because I want that to happen again at midnight. And you can see down here at the bottom, it is going to let you know that the upgrades are going to be done respective of the time zone of the particular firewall. And here is the date and time that it is going to be carried out on that particular device. So again, from here, I already selected the 16th as you select the date on there. I will have to just click on the 16th again. That will drop me back out of this. You could have selected the time prior to uh, going in and uh, making a change to the uh, date and then coming back into it so you can get that all in one step. Now that I have this selected, I can actually go ahead and hit schedule updates. Now, this update is going to be scheduled for this particular firewall at that particular time. Now, what we're gonna notice in the dashboard, and this is updated, we can see these ones still have their icon for downloading and the ability to upgrade the firmware. Notice here that my version 18 MR3 firewall has changed from that download symbol into a little clock on there. This is gonna let me know that I have a scheduled event for this particular firewall for firmware upgrade. If I click on that, that's gonna let me know that an upgrade has been scheduled. It's scheduled in the next four days. Here is the time that it is going to be pushed out and upgraded on that particular firewall. It's gonna be done at Eastern Standard Time and it's gonna be upgraded to version 18.4. At this point, if I need to edit this particular schedule, I can do that here. Or if I need to cancel that particular upgrade, Again, I can do that here as well. We can see there was a last schedule on this one that was canceled. So it will give you some additional information if this was scheduled prior to and maybe had to be canceled for any particular reason. Once all of your firewalls again are up to MR3 and they are all in the same group, we can schedule that upgrade across all of the firewalls for this particular customer. Now, again, this is going to be at the particular customer's central admin dashboard level. Uh, later this year, we will be introducing partner level management controls and firmware upgrade features inside of your Sofa Central partner dashboard. Uh, look for that more to come. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments or reach out to your MSP team. We'd be happy to walk you through anything. You have a great day. Thanks.